Okay, now that we have finished our half fraction flip book, we are going to make our second fraction flip book. So, you're going to need the other two sets of construction paper. And again, scissors, pencil, a ruler, and a an, uh, right corner paper. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to label this first one the same way. This first one represents one whole. So we're going to put a big one here. Now, in the half flip book, we, just, we divided the first strip into two equal parts so that each one was one half. On this one, we are going to divide this first flip into three equal parts so that each one is one third. So we're gonna get our ruler, and again, it's 12 inches, and we have to divide the 12 inches into three equal parts. So if we divide 12 into three equal parts, how many inches will each part be? Each part will be four inches. So I'm gonna mark here at four inches, make a little another little mark here at eight inches, and in order to make sure that they come out straight, I'm going to use my little index card and make sure it is straight on this edge and draw a line going up at four and make sure it's straight on this edge and make a line going straight up at eight. So now we have three equal parts. So each of those parts will be labeled one third. So on this flip book, we went from two parts to four parts. So here we're gonna go from three parts. What do you think this part will be? This will be divided into how many parts? Six parts. So now again, we're gonna get our ruler and it's 12 inches. So now we gotta divide 12 into six equal parts. So how many inches will each part be? Each part will be two inches. So two inches, two more inches is at four, then six, oops. And then what will be next after six? Eight, and then two more inches, 10, and we don't need to mark the 12. All right, so I'm gonna use my index card and make those lines straight up at two. The fours should match up. Six, the eights should match up, and 10. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So each one of these parts is one six. All right, so we went from three pieces to six pieces. So what do you think we're gonna do on this last one? If you've been paying attention, you probably figured out that we're gonna divide these 12 inches into 12 pieces. So each piece will be, that's right, one inch long. So it's gonna be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And the tricky part is trying not to move the ruler, making sure that zero stays there. So again, we know the ones at two, four, six, and eight are gonna be the same as the ones above. And 10, and now you can draw the ones in between. And again, so that they're straight, match that edge. Oops. And once you have done all of these lines, what are we gonna do next? That's right, we're gonna get our scissors and we are going to cut, e oops, no, nope, we gotta label them first and then we will cut them. So there's 12 equal parts, so each one is 1 12th. And now we can get our scissors. Now remember, we don't cut 
all the way through. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. And we are just going to cut up to the next tab. I'm going to stop right when we get to the next tab. So this was cut into 12 equal parts. So each of these little flaps are 1 12th. So we've got our little flip book. So now that we have our two flip books, this is our halves flip book with fours and eights, and our thirds flip book, you will now have the opportunity to start noticing. What do you notice about these fractions? and how the parts relate to each other. And then you can even kind of like layer them like this and see if there's anything that you notice when you layer them like this. There you go, your fraction flip books.